แม่Yes, yes, yes. Yes, indeed. This is the Soul Ministry. I is your happy host, Dr. Les Barrett. So wonderful to be with you one more again. And uh, it's now time for me to introduce a very special individual here, a person I hold close to my heart. Uh, in fact, uh, he's a nephew of mine. Hallelujah. Uh, we just got that divine connection. Uh, we met through Facebook and uh, we've just had a great relationship ever since. Amen. Know a lot of his people that I see also on Facebook, a loving family, a loving Christian family. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, so we may ask him a little bit about that. We're going to ask him a little bit about who he is and whatever he feel like talking about, that's what we're going to talk about. As I mentioned, if we don't have any real agenda, we're going to just let him have his way. This is his platform. This is not about Les Barrett. This is all about him. Amen. Amen. All right, so now we see him on the hey. screen. Yes, indeed. Ain't, ain't he pretty, y'all? <laughs> you know, like a brag, so you know he's so shy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. This is nephew Thomas Joseph Webb. Hey, man. Hey, hey, man. hey, man. Hey, man. Hello, everybody. Thanks for having me, Uncle. I appreciate this, man. Definitely appreciate it. Okay. All right. Uh, like I said, uh, this is his show. This is his time. Uh, he'll be here as long as he wants. He'll, be, he'll talk about whatever he wants. Uh, I just want to start off by asking him an easy question. Uh, well, we got his name. Um, <laughs> I always ask my interviewees about their church. So mm. if you like to, you don't have to. If you like to, you can Tell us uh, who you, ch what church you go to, and who's the pastor there. How long you've been there? You know, it, you can go into it as much as you like. Amen. Okay, amen. Um, I, I am a member of the Rock of Ages Baptist Church, located thirteen oh nine West Madison Street in Maywood, Illinois. The pastor is the <laughs> the very impressionable Reverend Marvin E. Wiley. That is my pastor. Um, I've been there now, um, I think it's probably been 13 years. It's been 13 years. 13 years. 13 years, yeah. I trans. I came out of, um, 
I was baptized into a Catholic because our family on my mom's side was Catholic. And uh, okay. in 2008, um, I joined the uh, Rock of Ages with my then wife and, and family. And uh, yep, 13 years. I've been in the church 13 years. I've been in the choir 11 years. And uh, I've just been, uh, I guess you could say promoted to uh, being one of the assistant directors, music directors for the uh, assistant for the director. Choir. Yeah. Okay. So we have a, there's a uh, three of us. So I'm number three. <laughs> no, hey. But yeah. As long as you're on count, the team. That's the way I look at it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So uh, I enjoy that. It's been interesting because we actually just started um, opening up again. It's been, we've been closed for a whole year. And uh, so we're slowly getting back into it. Um, as far as being members, we haven't started the choir back yet. Okay. Um, test your mic. Somehow I... Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. You got okay. me down? All right. Yeah, I heard you. All right, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, you have been there 13 years, member of the uh, choir 11 years, and then just right before the uh, pandemic kid, I was promoted to uh, one of the, one of the assi uh, assistant directors. So it's been it's been a journey. It's been a journey. We are we are now open. Um, but we haven't started the choir back or anything just yet. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that was wonderful. Let's give God praise right there. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I think I may have some issues here going on right now. Okay. That that was wonderful. We still got a couple more minutes before we take our second break. And All right. um, this is our sports and medicine segment. Now, you don't have to do it right now, but I just want to know, are you a sports fan, first off? Uh, yeah, uh, to a degree. I'll, uh, uh, I, I participated. Uh, hold on one second. What's going on here? Um, I do watch sports. My brothers were the uh, were the basketball guys, and still are. Um, I myself am the I'm the car head. I'm the the racing guy. The car. Okay. Uh, that's my that's my sport. Okay. All right, that's, drag man, that is, that, that's fantastic. Go ahead. I said we are we are we're a drag racing family. We've been doing it for years. Um, we actually have our own racing team called the Broke Brothers Racing, um, but we haven't really been able to do many events. Last year was because of the pandemic. Uh, year right. before, uh, there was just it was just a lot going on with our families, with you know, kids and grandkids graduating, and right. you know, everybody having kids and things of that matter. So what right. we've been doing lately is uh, assisting and helping out with other people who are hosting racing events. Um, okay. My brother does the anthem. Usually, I would do the national anthem, and I would uh, put the the live feed up for the for the events using my pla uh, my little live feed or from the phone or from camera or whatever. So that's that's what we've been doing lately. Okay, all right. Well, you know what I really liked about what you just said was that you were helpful to others. You know, you, you guys uh, would help other folks. Okay. And yes, one of the things that I really stress here on this station, you know, where you might catch me running my mouth, <laughs> is <laughs> that it is important that we would help others. You know, the world has this this crab in the barrel type of mentality, mm. but we as believers, we should be supportive of one another. We should be pushing others to go further and further, you know, right. because uh, God really appreciates uh, those of us who have a heart that will like intercede on behalf of others. Those who would, uh, Paul says in Philippians said that we should esteem others first. 
uh, right. we should also look at the example of our Lord who said that I came here to be a ransom for the many. So mm -hmm. our mentality is, should be different than the world. And one way that we can reflect a different mentality, I think you'll agree, is that we would be willing to help others along the way. Then, yes, matter of fact, the central thought there with Jesus is that he came and gave up his life. So yes, he gave sir. everything to help all of us to get to where God wants us to be. Amen. 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 This is the soul ministry. I just got happy, man, when, when he said he helped somebody else. Uh, you know, I like that in you. I like that in you and your family. You know, I love your family. But we're going to yeah. take another little quick break, and then we're going to come back with nephew Thomas <laughs> Joseph Webb. Amen. 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 Well, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me make okay, yeah. We got volume now. Get that mic on. Get that mic on. I'm going to come back to you, nephew, in a minute. Hold on. Okay. All right. I'm going to come back to my nephew in a minute, and uh, let me remind you one more time: this is the Soul Ministry, and I am your happy host, Doctor Les Barrett. This is our sports talk and medical advice segment and i said there was a lot of sports news and we want to get one more in before i bring back nephew to, to go into it a little bit more with him amen amen here we go this is an nba playoff picture story and it's talking about the standings and magic numbers lakers projected for top four seed warriors grip play in spot this is by brad Bolton about two hours ago, a little later. We're under a month out from the close of the 2021 NBA regular season. The last day of games is May 16. So far, the Utah Jazz are the only team to have clinched a true playoff spot, meaning a, a top six seed, while the Houston Rockets and Minnesota Timberwolves are the first two teams to have been officially eliminated from postseason contention. Quick reminder on this season's new playoff format. The top six seeds in each conference are in. 
with the final two seeds up for grabs via two play-in tournament series. In each conference, number seven will play number eight, with the higher seed having to win one game, while the lower seed would have to win two. The winner of that seven versus eight series gets the number seven spot, while the loser awaiting the winner of the nine versus 10 play-in series to decide the number eight seed. So that's something new that we see going on in the playoffs, amen. That's the NBA playoffs there. Uh, we're gonna go back now and to uh, talking with our, my nephew, amen, amen. Wanna bring him right back up and we'll get to talk with him right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay. Um, you have to un you have to unmute your mic. There we go. There you go. Back All in. right. So <laughs> you know, let me just uh, be a little transparent here. My nephew was a little concerned. He thought I might, you know, make him look bad and all this type of. Thing. <laughs> no, but he, I, I assured him, you know, I'm not gonna never let you look bad. I ain't never do that. If anybody will look bad, it'll be me. And I ain't trying to do that one either. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I think that he felt a little bit more comfortable at that first little uh, session there, that first little segment there. And so we're going to, uh, since he's feeling a little more comfortable pillagey, <laughs> I'll make up a word. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> hey, man, this is a lie, too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> tell up me that about bird it. on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> but since he's feeling a little more, you know, like I say, a little more comfortable, uh, we're going to delve now a little bit into, like, his childhood and just see, uh, like, what school he went to, uh, uh, what type of job, uh, that type of thing, uh, maybe even an early church that he went to. Anything you want to talk about uh, in your past, you know, now don't don't bring up the criminal record. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to blur the face out right there. <laughs> look, look, I had my grandson on. I told him the same thing. Hey, you want to talk about something that ain't going to get you in trouble? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, I just I just be kidding. Don't worry about it. No, the thing is, uh, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you just go ahead and tell us about yourself. All right. Uh, as you said, my name is Thomas Joseph Webb. I am a Thomas Webb II, um, only for mailing purposes. My father's middle name is Edward. Uh, I am the oldest of uh, four I have uh, two sisters, I mean, two brothers and one sister. Okay. Um, I live on the west side of Chicago. It's the best side, y'all. It's the best side. What side? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, started out being in a, um, a Catholic church. My parents, well, my mom, who was brought up Catholic. Um, okay. And my aunts and my grandmother as well. They all grew up in the Catholic church. And they, my grandmother got them in, got them started with music. Okay. Uh, so they became their own little choir as they were coming up uh, to the degree that uh, right before I was born, my mom was a background vocalist for Smokey Robinson. And so from that point on, um, the, there was the, you know, we were, in, we were uh, uh, brought up in church. We we're a very spiritual family, uh, complete faith in God. Uh, there was no way I, I couldn't even put it to words to our upbringings. Um, I all of us have drifted our own little ways or whatever. Okay. Um, but I still followed through with, with trying to stay in church because I was a uh, director. I was a I got put into being a music director at the age of fourteen. Oh, for the oh, church right, I right, attended. right. So from there on, it was just uh, get more involved with, with the church. Uh, the school that I attended was uh, was attached to the church, which is an old St. Mel's grade school, which is on Washington. And, it used to be on Washington and Killed there. Uh, we were attached to the big church that's right there on Washington and Killed there. So that's how we got through that. Um, that that's how we connected with the, the, the church was through the school. Uh, from there, I attended Weber High School, which is on Palmer and right off of Laramie. It's over okay. in Prosser, Neff Prosser. Um, I didn't finish off there because you know, I was having kids, but don't tell nobody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was able to get my uh, GED from the old Resurrection uh, Chapel. 
Okay. That was located on, on Jackson. Uh, but I've always worked. I've been working since I was 16. Uh, different jobs, uh, mainly warehousing. Uh, but now I'm doing a, uh, I'm maintenance, doing maintenance for a condo association uh, located in the Old Town area. Yes, sir. Uh, great company. Um, it's, it's, I like it because we get to provide a service. Again, we, we talked about help. Uh, right. We get to provide a service to uh, our own little community of, of, of making sure the building is intact, making sure the building is um, in working order, uh, cleanliness, uh, responsibility yes, to um, just I, I, I tell I tell I often tell the tenants that though they are tenants and they you know the association pays our salaries and things like that, I still provide a service to them as if they are customers. And I truly like that, you know, I, 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 where I live is the same. I want that return to me, so therefore I put that out. Um, okay. Once again, great company. Just celebrated my second year anniversary there. Um, but it, it's amazing how the how God orchestrated that for me to to get that job um, in 2016. Like, I, don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if you remember this, but 26. I worked for Enterprise Rent a Car. I did make okay. for their stores. We had 192 stores. There were seven guys who stayed busy. And in one session in 2016, I uh, was doing some work on one of the signs. And my ladder caved down and sent me down 30 feet face first. I sustained a lot of injuries, a lot of injuries. It was a long process uh, of healing from uh, 2016 up to 2018. I was able to get um, go back to work with restrictions and then I was transferred into a different department where I could work. And then the, the law was like, okay, that's enough of that. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put you here. We're going to try you in this. And, and even in some instances, I tried my own, but right, 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 right. that, that, you know, the, the faith base that we grew up in, you know, said to wait and he provided me with this company that I work for now. Uh, it's a great experience. Um, you know, it's, it's helped me through, <laughs> With uh, provision, I provide you know great provision and doing things for my children. Speaking of children, um, I have three that are my own for my previous marriage, but there's three more okay. that I kind of like took in from when they were kids, and so I, I call them mine. I don't right. separate them or anything like that. These are my kids. So in that between. The six of them, I have 19 grandchildren that keep me on the run. All right. <laughs> so uh, I'm pr I'm proud of that and my children. Hey, Amen. Yeah. So they they are um they are great children. They they take care of their responsibilities. Um, they live off from what was instilled in them. Okay. You know, all of us have made the decisions to try different things and go different routes in life, but that's they. I, I'm proud of my children. I'm proud of my Amen. children. Amen. Amen. Very proud of my children. Hey, can we give God praise right there? Let's let's stop Amen. and just give God a little praise right yeah, there. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Wow. Um. <clears throat> see how much time we got. A couple of minutes here before we go on our third break. Um. If you don't mind, I'm going to interject about 30 seconds, if you don't mind. This is your time. I don't want to be nice. taking it up. But uh, right. <laughs> we know we know that family is very important to God. And uh, he went about the business of family, right? Right off the top. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, Amen. As I mentioned earlier, he sent Jesus down to, in effect, allow us to become part of the eternal family of God. You know, everything he, had, he went through, it was so that we could be grafted into the family of God. Amen. Yes. And that we will all be blood related. I know yes. that might seem a little strange, but that really, that's what it boiled down to. We would be part yes. of the family of God. And so family is very important to God. And he demonstrated that fact. Uh, right off the top, right there in Genesis, he said he, he created a, a man and he looked and said, hey, man, that ain't enough. I need somebody else to be with this man. So he wow. created a woman, right? And then they were about the business of uh, creating family. He says, look, I want you to be fruitful. 
Mm-hmm. And most mm-hmm. black. And he was right. talking about, hey, get on, get with it, so that we right. can get some uh, <laughs> uh, families, you know. And then, right. and then when you move up to uh, Abraham, he says, and you, uh, all the families of the earth will be blessed. That was the covenant. That was the actual last leg of the covenant that he okay. told to uh, Abraham. And we know that that thing was fulfilled when uh, Jesus came along and, yes, and through him, all the families are blessed. Oh my God, I just got to yes, praise sir. God right there. Amen. My Amen. Of my goodness of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> my soul shouts out. Yes, Hallelujah. sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what I'm going to do, nephew, is you did a wonderful, masterful job in that segment right there. I know I, he loosened up, y'all. Oh man, he was, <laughs> he was a little a little word. I said, man, it's going to be all right. Just come on. It's going to be yeah. all right. So you saw him and he just loosened up, right? So we're going to take a break here. We're going to let him recharge and we're going to get it going again. This is my nephew, y'all. Thomas Joseph Webb. We're yes, going to take sir. a break and come right on back. This is the Soul Ministry. I is your really happy host, Dr. Les Barrett. Back in the flash. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. This is the Soul Ministry Eyes, your happy host, Dr. Les Barrett. This is our sports talk and sla- uh, slash medical advice segment. And we have another sports story we want to do, a couple of them. Uh, we're just going to bring up real briefly because we got to get back to our nephew. He, he's going to close us out. So let me just mention this fight that I actually watched over the weekend. And it featured Emmanuel Navarrete beats up, stops, brave Christopher Diaz in 12. And this story is by Michael Rosenthal about a day ago. And again, all this news I'm getting from Microsoft News. Okay. All right. So anyways, featherweight title holder Emmanuel Navarrete received spirited resistance from Diaz. But in the end. The champion delivered a severe beating before finally scoring a last second 
knockout Saturday at Silver Spurs Arena in Kissimmee, Florida. <clears throat> Navarrete is 33 and 1, 28 KOs, put Diaz 26 and 3 with 16 KOs down four times. The last time with about 30 seconds left in the fight. He managed to get up, took a series of hard follow-up punches, and his corner stopped it to save him from further punishment. The official time was 2.49 of round 12, meaning only 11 seconds remained, and no one questioned the stoppage. I saw how hurt he was, and I was concerned for him. Navarrete said through a translator, I'm glad they threw in the towel. I looked at him. I'm happy he wasn't severely hurt. We were able to talk afterward. He was responsive. Everything was okay. That's what the sport is about, caring for your fellow competitors. So thank goodness he's okay. Yes, I, I do believe that uh, we should give God praise. We should be concerned about our competitors. Oh, you may hear some noise there doing some construction, so just kind of disregard that. And I want to just mention really, really quickly before I turn it back over, um, this, this story right quick. And it's it's by D-A-Z-N, the zone. It was five hours ago, and it says Anthony Johnson, Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Eddie Hearn reveals details of recent meeting with Fury. Eddie Hearn has revealed that an in-person meeting with Tyson Fury has left him completely confident that nothing will prevent the heavyweight unification mega fight between Fury and Anthony Joshua from being announced with a date and venue in the very near future. That's all I'm going to read about that because I got to give up the, you know, the mic, so to speak, to my nephew here. Um, and I got a couple of things that I want to ask him about. So I'm going to bring him back up and we're going to uh, talk to him. Amen. His mic is on you there. Amen. Amen. He's there. All right. You got the stage and uh, what I want to ask you, what I want to ask you, um, what do you do like for enjoyment, like like dinner? What do you do for dinner? What do you do for entertainment? That type of thing. Um, a lot of our entertainment happens. I like dance. I like dancing and singing. You like what? I I like to dance and sing. No, I, I thought I thought that's what you said. I just had to clean my ears out because you like to dance. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Come yes, on, sir. man. At, at we got 50, a talented family right here. Listen, <laughs> at, at, at 50 years old, I can line the dance floor up. Yes, sir. Hey, uh, good God almighty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, mm -hmm. well, most of the most of the things with us is uh music, um, some kind of entertainment, toy music, or things of that matter. Uh, my brother is an MC. Um, he has his own. He's venturing out to his own uh, brand, uh, One Love okay. One Love Entertainment. Uh, he is okay. a an announcer of uh, for many sorts of of events. Like I said, the racing events, parties, and things of that matter. Um, him and another friend of ours, our D, the DJ DJ Chris, are doing promoting each other as uh, the takeover. So usually we attend the events that they uh, that they have worked, that they work for, uh, from it being weddings to it being some of the important p uh, politicians in, in the okay. city. Okay, oh, come on now. So they, they've been doing well. Yes, sir. They've been doing well with that. And if I can get a dance floor shot in and, and, and grab one of the, you know, one of the suitcases to help bring the DJ up, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Uh, but also, uh, one of the things that I, I enjoy doing, I enjoy um, putting together. Uh, uh, I, I guess you could say uh, scripture inspiration or inspiration or encouragement. Oh, um, encourage. That's what I was, was going to bring that up. But go ahead. You since you started. 
Yeah, um, this started way back in like 2009 um, when there was like the battle between MySpace and, and, and Facebook. Now, imagine before I got to where I am, because um, I, I wasn't always this way. Um, I would always have advice for someone to help them get through, but my pages never showed that because I, I had to grow in, into that, um, into that faith-based issue because there was there was always the shame of, of people talking down about religion or Christianity or things of that matter. But then one day uh, I got convicted, and uh, okay. someone they jumped on my on my Facebook page and was mm -hmm. like. The one thing they said was like, well, you do all this stuff in church, you sing in the choir, you can inspire people, but you got all this other stuff or junk on your page. How do you make it work where you can just do all of this at once? And so uh, that initiated me to, to go into prayer about it, to be confident, to build the confidence to do what I'm doing. So the, the, the text messaging actually started uh, in the year 2000, and it started out being with the Good Morning Sips. That was for me, my brothers, uh, and my sister. It started out, that's how we started out encouraging each other. And then, so then it, it branched off, and then there was the, the Good Morning Sips and cousins and the aunties, the, you know, mom and dad. And before you know it, every week, uh, there is 296 text messages. Ooh, praise the Lord. A, a nephew. We're running out of time. Okay. So, okay. Excuse me. I want to see if you got today's word that you gave uh, on your text message. If you uh, happen to have it and, and you read it. Then after that, let us know how we can get in touch with you or how we can find you. Okay. Today's word. I don't. Oh, wait. Hold on one second. Let me take a look and see if I got it here. Because I don't want us to be disconnected. By the way, if you guys are watching, you guys who are watching, I actually want to encourage him to do this on our radio and TV platforms. So you're actually getting a bit of a treat because uh, he gives a powerful word every day, every day. And uh, I've been hearing him for the longest, you know, so uh, we're hopefully you'll be able to get a taste. Yeah, you know, I don't have the one um, from today. I can, for today, I, I may have it. I may have it if you don't mind. If I can no, find no it problem. Right. No, yeah, no problem at all. Oh, here it is. I see it. You got it? it? Yes, sir. Go uh, ahead. It, it says, Lord, show me. Lord, show me every time when that desire, the one I asked you to remove, you prove to me that I haven't surrendered it. You got to give it up. Hashtag. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, now look, nephew. Uh, somebody might want to get that encouraging word that, uh, as I just testified, you give an encouraging word every day. Mm -hmm. I would like for you, can you type in like, uh, your, well, this is your, this is how they find you on Facebook, right? Thomas Joseph yeah, Webb? Yeah, if I find me on Facebook. What Thomas about, Joseph what about it's, YouTube? It's a, it's a public, I don't have anything for YouTube just okay. yet. All right. Um, how do you go about text? Do they, they have to uh, contact you? They, if they get in contact with me through the Facebook, uh, through Facebook, they can inbox me their phone number, and then we can uh, go from there. Okay. This has been a wonderful <laughs> hour with my wonderful nephew. Oh, we got to praise God. Oh, man, I, I, I hate the hour is over. Right. <laughs> I definitely over. appreciate you, because, man. And I'm telling you why I really hate it, because uh, he was just so shy. He's like, oh, <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I'm like, come on, man. You better come on here. And my God, he, if I hadn't stopped him, he'd still be going. Yeah, <laughs> so, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. It's been a wonderful experience. I'm so glad that you're doing this. I'm, I'm glad for your ministry. This is Thank really you. why I want you to be a part of this. You was like, oh, I don't think I can. No, you yeah. can do it. Yes. And, you know, hopefully you will want to uh, join up with me so that you'll be able to do this uh, on the regular. Up to you, of course. But, man, right. you can do it. I told you from the beginning, you can do it. And yeah, people talking, will be I'll, blessed. I'm gonna, Amen. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Yes, sir. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We we got communicating now. We got, yes, some, uh, <laughs> you know, my squirrel will meet your squirrel. I mean, we got to go along. You know, my little can instrumental will meet your, you know, how they do the little string. Yeah, oh, yeah, with the string. Yeah. Right? yeah on the can. We, we'll, we'll get hooked up, you know, because, uh, like I say, man, 
here's what the Bible says, is that they, they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of the testimony of the believers. And so you got a word, you got to, you know, just go on and do what God has called you to do. I'm yes, going to let you uh, pray us out or, or what, however you want to uh, take, us, take us out. Uh, it's time for that to happen right now. All right. I just I just want to thank the Lord for the opportunity to thank the Lord. I, I want I, Lord, we, we thank you. We, we, we come asking more than we come. Thank you. So th at this time, I just want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to be to, to thank to thank you for this opportunity, for this communication line, for the soul seekers, for the, the, the deliverance of God, for for any platform. Bless less Barry in what he's doing in your name, Lord. And that it, and I pray that it reach out to the multitudes of others to get a hold of who you are in our lives and help us to be placed and put a position that even if not in our best position, if the only people that they see, if the only way they see Jesus is through us, then help us be that Jesus. Amen. I ask these things to your daughter, son named Jesus. Amen. Hey, amen. Amen. Thank you, nephew. Like you said, we will talk. Real soon. I don't want to hear that we were talking. Don't hear from you in six months. We will <laughs> talk. For we will real. Talk. <laughs> Amen. Love you now. I got to Love run. Our time is out. Enjoy. Have a blessed right. rest of Thank your day. You. you do the same. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Wow. What a wonderful time. We are out of time, and so we must go.